friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage doing a little bit of goofing around tonight. And I've got another mail call for you guys. This one really should be a pretty cool uh, addition to the channel. <clears throat> I have a couple other ones that are uh, daisies. This is a daisy product as well. Uh, a couple other daisies that were also made by uh, Gamo from different times in the past. Um, the first one up here is actually quite cool. Um, this is a Daisy Model 62, and this was made by Gamo back in the 70s. And this is an underlever uh, Springer. A very, very accurate pistol. Very nice. Got very nice adjustable sights. A very nice trigger on that one. And then the other one I have over here. <coughs> is a Daisy Model 120, which is a brake barrel Springer uh, air rifle. I also did read about a Daisy Model 130 or 130A or something like that. And the one that I saw or read about was in 22 caliber. So I don't know if that's the difference between these two or if that was a completely different model. I'm gonna do a little more research on it and maybe Looking to find one of those for my collection as well. But this other one, so that those were made in the early 80s. And all of these things, these little conglomeration or con, what's the word? Uh, collaborations with uh, Gamo with Daisy were very short lived at specific times along the history. Um, these were only made for a year or two in about the mid 80s. <clears throat> Same with the uh, Model 62 is only a year or two. Very, very short production or collaboration uh, in the mid 70s. But now we have this, this mail call coming in and I have not opened this one yet. So we're gonna see this one together. The uh, seller did claim that it was tested and it worked. So hopefully uh, that's the truth. <laughs> But we'll go ahead and see. But what we have is a Daisy Model 1140, which uh, I've been trying to do some research on it as this one was coming towards me and have a little more information to be able to give to you guys. But uh, there is not much on these. Uh, honestly, they are very, they seem to be very scarce and very rare. So uh, <clears throat> let's see, we got the gun wrapped up nicely. Let's say he was going to send some pellets with it. Um, both of these tins of pellets were with the gun and virtually unused. So he said it was uh, almost completely unused uh, since it was new. And I think we can almost get a kind of a feel for how old this thing is just based on how, come on, how old this, uh, these tins of pellets are. That one there is a tin of uh, Marksman air gun pellets. And I've seen a few of these around too. Um, and this is not, oh, I can't get that lid off. And then uh, I've got a few of these older plastic bins of uh, Crossman pellets too. So these were from back in like the 90s, which is where the best I can figure that these Daisy 1140 pistols actually came from. But what these are is a uh, essentially a Game O model P800, P800, P800. They have currently have a P900, which is a uh, nitro piston. Not really a copy of this, but a nitro piston type of brake barrel Springer or brake barrel pistol. <clears throat> this one is a uh, a spring piston design. The game of the P800 was a spring piston design as well. But the only uh, video that I can find about this particular model of gun is my, uh, I guess I could call him my buddy, uh, over at Gold Touch. Uh, he's got a little YouTube channel. He does a lot of, I think all he does is air gun chant, uh, work. But uh, 
the pictures uh, on eBay did not do this thing justice. They said it was like new, but it looked like it had some scratches on it, but it must have just been glare because there is no scratches on it or anything. This thing looks like it's absolutely brand new. Now these are made in Spain uh, by Gamo. And uh, model 1140. We'll do a we'll do a real full review on this and get some chrono numbers for it and stuff like that. But uh, I want to go ahead and I want to put a little drop of oil down in there because I don't know if and when it's ever had any oil down inside the com combustion or compression chamber. So uh, before we go ahead and fire it and let that thing. Let that thing fly. We'll at least give it a fighting chance to be uh, operational. I do have a camera running on a target down range. I don't know if I'll hit it or not. It does have um, the sights are adjustable for windage, but not for elevation here. So. All right. Yeah, hit the target. <laughs> A little high and right but that's okay but it's shooting so that'll be a lot of fun kind of a heaviest trigger not the worst I've ever felt I did not see where that one went I don't know if it went in the same hole sounds like it's shooting with some pretty good uh, pretty good power um, these were rated for like 350 I'm shooting seven green pellets here, so. Okay, yeah, so that one was just off from the other one there, so. Could use a little bit of windage elevate, uh, windage adjustment and then do a little Kentucky windage on the elevation there, but. I did a little bit of, dropped it down just a little bit and it's still off to the to the right, but let's see here. Oh yeah, the, the notch is actually all the way up past the, the center line of the mold here. <laughs> so let me go ahead and just center that up and see if, uh, see how much that helps. Stand by. It's kind of fun getting these different, uh, oh, that's going the wrong way. Okay, there we go, let's get, so that's, now the notch is perfectly centered in the middle between, between the two mold halves before it was all the way to the right of the two mold halves. So let's go ahead and see if we're hitting a little better now. So the best I can figure, these were made sometime in the 1990s, um, from what I'm what I'm seeing. But oh yeah, I'm in the Two almost in the same hole with each other, but once you figure that kind of heavy trigger out, it actually shoots pretty darn good. But uh, all right, I'm gonna wrap it up. We gotta just I just wanted to get a mail call done for you guys on this one. This is pretty darn cool. I will do a full review on it, and we'll do some uh, chronograph testing and some some real uh, accuracy testing with it. Try a couple different pellets, uh, but there you go. Kind of a cool, pretty, from what I can find, pretty rare piece. Nothing spectacular as far as, uh, you know, a target gun or anything like that, but 
sometimes the, even the, the quirkiest things can be pretty cool when they're they're rare like these thing this is but there you go daisy model 1140 hope you liked the video if you did like share and subscribe stay tuned for a uh, further review on this guy and we'll uh We'll give a chance to do some head-to-heads against some of the other uh, springers and stuff I have in the garage here for sure. Seems to be shooting pretty darn good. So anyway, check out my uh, link down below for my Amazon store. Got a lot of air rifle stuff and air gun stuff in there that uh, if you buy it, it'll help out the channel. Doesn't cost you anything more if you're going to buy stuff like that anyway. But uh, if you follow that link and then you search on on Amazon while you're still to Amazon through that link uh, I'll also get credit for um, the commission on the sales of anything else you buy that isn't in the store too so but anyway you guys have a great day we'll see you later